What's up guys? My name is Khan and we're back today with more Railroads Online joined by Cosmo. It has been a while since Cosmo has been a conductor on the railroads. How's it going, <laughs> Cosmo? Going great, man. How are you? I'm, I'm good. So you're going to drive this big bad boy today, the Captain Cook. So there's been an update yep, to Railroads cool. since the last time you played. There's a physics update. Cars are weighted more appropriately, engines are more powerful, and Betsy is actually weak now. It's kind of interesting. Very um, nice. I'm glad you gave me the rundown because yeah, I'm that's curious. the rundown. That's yeah, yeah. I, I saw you eye and Betsy there, man. I knew what you were gonna do. You're gonna be like, bro, can I just? <laughs> I was gonna hop in and take it for a spin. Yeah, you know, no, it's not. Sake. It's not as powerful. Um, so there's uh, math involved now in the game. Oh, very nice. Which I mean is you know it is it is what it I is. I like math. I yeah. Like math. So Tell me. Tell me math more. is pretty simple. Um, last episode I did or a couple episodes ago I did a run to the top of the iron mine with a class seventy which pulls 229,000 pounds up 4%. Today, we're going to do the same run, uh, but with one extra car. So we're pulling 295,000 pounds of weight, and we're going to uh -huh. do it with two engines, the Cook Mogul here and the Eureka, which combined can pull 233,000 pounds. So we're a little underweight, but... Just, just a little. Yeah, but the line is like mostly 3%, not all 4%. And at 3%, we can pull 351,000 pounds. Okay. So theoretically, we might make it. Worst case, we have to break, disconnect some cars, you know, and... and the payload's, and, what, 295, you said? Yeah, 295 is our load. Oof. All right. Yeah, All right. so you want to take the Cook Mogul around to that shunt yard over there, hook it up to the plank cars. There's, like, 13 plank cars over yeah. there. Sounds good. And then uh, I'm going to buy a Eureka, my third Eureka I've bought on this stupid freaking server. <laughs> The other two have died, so I'm gonna buy another one, and then died. we're going to yeah. No, literally, one got ye one like I put it on the turntable, and its tender just disappeared, and it never never appeared. And then the other one yeeted itself off a bridge because its brakes failed on the hill, and it and then oh, when I tried to rerail it onto the track, the tender went through the world and disappeared. So now I'm down two Eurekas. <laughs> so I'm on to Eureka number three. Oh, man. I like I don't even I'm gonna give it again number 0 0.5 I feel like 0 0.5 Fair is enough. just the you know what I gotta give it hey, a proper uh, number hey, dude don't question how do I get into a train now F I, I can't oh, you gotta F. look it's right at like the base of the 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 area is smaller the area is smaller you gotta look where you would be standing if you were in the cab if that makes sense this guy gives me a train that's not ready to go what do you mean what's wrong with it <laughs> fire's not stoked Oh, well, I mean, yeah, it's probably been sitting there for, like, three days, dude. You gotta yeah, you gotta throw some fire in. <laughs> they did change the firebox, too. You have to actually open up the hatch. I did know that. I did know that. Okay, did yeah. when that came in, so... Yeah, you gotta open the hatch and throw it in, which is kind of cool. It's you know, cool. I, got, I gotta get the Eureka fired up here as well. I'm gonna open some switches, and uh, I'll meet you out on the main line. I'm really curious to know how my world is doing now. With, with the new, new physics? Yeah, with the... Exactly. The Cook Mogul on flat ground, like, you'll see, if you go full reg, like, zero to full, it takes off like a dragster. Like, it's insane. It just has so much power and no weight. It's kind of ridiculous. This train doesn't have a generator, right? Yeah, it doesn't, no. Oh, okay. It's only it's if you have, a... like, electric headlights and, you know, taillights. It looked like it had one. It's it's a lamp still. It's still one oh, that you have okay. to light manually. The Heisler's got an electric one. That's and everyone right. in the I've comments was always like, world. oh, the generator's a turbocharger. It's not. It's literally an electric generator. It's a little steam turbine that generates electricity to run the headlights. That's all it does. Yeah, back into the front of those. Hitch them up. Should be good. And you're going to go in front of me? Yeah, I have less pulling power than you, so I feel like it makes, it makes sense. Because right? you don't want to pull apart. Yeah, I don't want to pull apart, and I feel like I'm sort of just the assistance, and you're really going to be right. like the meat and bones of the whole operation. Mmm, meat. I don't know how this Eureka is going to go, though, to be honest. I mean, it's, you know, it's it's not the bad. It's, it's a decent engine. But the Mogul's a beast. It's actually so good. I really like the Heisler. I uh, I have the, I think it's the only one that I have aside from my Betsy's, and I really like it. Yeah, the Heisler's powerful. The Climax is more powerful, the smaller gear train. Right. Um, but that's only because it's got a, a better gear ratio, so it has less top speed than the Heisler, but as a result, gets more, more torque. Power. That's good. Yeah. I really enjoyed the Class 72, but the Class 70 is really long, so you need kind of like wide turns on your track, otherwise it kind of has problems. Fair enough. And even when I was bringing the Class 70 down from my iron mine, it kind of got the shakes on the downhill. Right. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be... What happened? 
Dude, I thought I set this switch and I flipped it and I clearly flipped it in the wrong way because I just derailed my freaking train. Like I, was I gonna say you, you flipped it and then you flipped it. Yeah, I flipped it and then I flipped it and it's like, oh my god. I swear, oh, if this man. Eureka, I swear to God, if it like derails, like it won't let me rerail it, I don't, I don't even know what to tell you. I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Because the last time I tried to rerail the tender, it just, it flew through the world and disappeared. This is a neat little train car. Trade Line Rail Co. Which one's that? The, like, the passenger one. The caboose? The caboose, yeah. Sorry, I don't know the technical terms. Oh, the caboose is awesome. It's supposed to be a brake man's car. Right. And uh, the brake man will stay in the caboose and use the caboose's brakes to slow down a heavy train when you're going downhill. So you're Very not just cool. compressing the whole train, you're putting it under tension, right? Looks extremely cozy. Yeah, it's got a little fireplace in it and everything. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I want to live here. All right. I think we're good. Are, you at? are we, though? I feel like we are. Okay. You can do it, man. I believe in you. This is the first time I've legitimately done like a, a proper double loco, you know, not just two double quarters. Double loco? <laughs> double loco. Well, no, this is like with the new physics. This is actually the first time I'm hooking up two locomotives together to try the whole pulling power thing. Just make sure you don't hit me at 6,000 miles an hour. Oh, remember with this update too, the weights of the cars is more realistic. So braking takes longer, like a lot longer. It's more like real train Ooh. stuff. <laughs> Dude, that's gotcha. perfect. All right, watch this. Watch this. Take, turn your brakes off. Brakes off. Okay. Remember how gutless the Eureka was before? Check this out. Yes. Look at Holy that. Holy moly! She's pulling going. the whole trade. She's going. It's still kind of gutless, but you know it can do it. Amazing. It's only because we're on flat I, ground. Uh, do you want me to add a bit of reg? Or Dude, what we I lost do? a car at the back. What? Lost a car. Oh no, it's just in the shadow. I thought there was a hole in the train. <laughs> I, I saw a shadow on the car. I'm like, there's a hole in the train. No, yeah, we're no, good. We can, we're you good. can reg yeah, as much as you want. That's fine. As much as I want, okay. I'll cut it, I'll cut it back. Well, you know, let's go full speed. Yeah, let's just do it. Just center, bud. <laughs> the switches should all be good going into the log camp. We gotta load up seven cars of lumber and six cars of beams. That's the objective. Okay. That's what we're taking all down. the way to the iron mine. I feel like this is like one of those trains where they put the Eureka up front because it's got all the gold, it looks pretty, and then they've got this like black and white, right. like, just workhorse <laughs> behind it. Basically. It's like, don't worry about it, pay attention to the nice, bright, shiny colors up front. Ignore the fact that there's this like, you know, yeah, I want to say gross cool looking, but it's not man. gross looking. It really looks cool. Like the cook no, it looks really cool, yeah. Yeah, it's a cool looking train. We don't need to slow down for this, right? Nah, not these quarters. Dude, these are, we're we're heavy now. Like the whole everything's heavier, so you stay on the track better. It's so like this physics update really is good. a lot better than you think. That's good because I have a lot of not a lot of I have a couple of spots where I kept like yeah I I was just having some tipping over issues and I think it might be better now. We'll yeah, see. with the heavier cars you don't get the pull through as much. You can still have it if it's a really sharp corner. Um, right. The biggest thing to note, though, is, is just the braking and the downhill. When you're going downhill, you really will pick up speed because of the weight of everything, right? Easy. That's good. Yeah, it feels really, really good. The update feels more like real trains, in my opinion, I'll, having never, you know, actually driven a train. Right. Oh, boy. This is really fast. Nah, we're good. I am going to start coasting now, though, because we are going to need to slow down at some point here. Uh, shoot, I We're should... We're not connected? Oh, wow, I pulled through. Did you break? <laughs> no. Dang, we just snapped that link. I okay. Just, I, I just dropped reg to zero, and that's it. Yeah, and apparently that was enough. I had more coasting power. That's interesting. Uh, that might cause us problems if we snap the link, like, up on the mountain. Were we ever connected to begin with? Wow, good switch over, dude. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah we were. All right, interesting. I have so many logs floating in the water. Yeah, dude, we filled this. Dapper and I, it's 100, 100, 100. Like, it's completely okay. full. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to... Okay, so what I'm going to do here... Um, just slow up a bit. I'm going to... Because we are disconnected, this is actually going to help. I'm going to switch the Eureka onto the line we have to go onto. Sure. And then we'll hook it up, like, once we're loaded. Because you'll be able to handle the loading with, you know, the Cook Mogul on its own. Yeah, exactly. It won't need the Eureka's help. And then it's only one en engine to manage the zip, too. For sure. 
Alright, just let that pass on by. Yep. Yeah, I still don't have a Y here. Um, great talking point. It's been like 15 episodes now I've been talking about building the Y here. Still haven't done it. So uh, we're going to do the standard loading operation, which is drive forward, load up, then go in reverse to drive out. You know, makes sense. I'm curious to see what else you built. Like, I, uh, I made some progress in my world, but I'm curious to see what you did. Well, today we're going to the iron mine. Um which I've done. I've got a loop. It's actually a complete loop around, so we go up one way and come down the other, which is kind of cool. And then I've got the coal mine connected, and that's it. I haven't connected the other industries, and I need to fix this up, because there needs to be a Y that's here. That's what I have connected, too. I have a loop in my iron ore mine, and then I have uh, just one connection to the coal mine, and that's it. I don't have a loop there yet. Right. Do you have a loop at the coal mine? No. I go, like, I go up to the coal mine, and then I turn around at the coal mine. Like, I have a loop to turn yeah. around at the coal mine, but then I come yeah, back yeah. down the same track. Fair enough. It's just a single track line. Alrighty. What are we loading up for as beams? Uh, I mean, we can. It, I don't, I don't know how much it's gonna matter. Lumber's heavier, so probably want lumber first at the front of the trade and beams at the back. Okay. Because I think, like, the heavier weight at the back, the more it's going to pull the cars through in the middle, you know? Oh, the animation thing is still a thing, I guess. Oh, you don't see the animations all the time? No. Okay. Or not at all. Or maybe I just can't click on it? I don't know. It's well, weird. they're going right now, so maybe that's why. I don't know. It's not a big deal. Don't worry, with the power of editing, this is going to be, like, only a 10-second load time. Like, I have the that's fastest right. load times just because <laughs> I can edit, you know? Abra Kadabra. So Khan and I have been playing a lot of Dying Light 2, and I literally just had the urge to jump up onto, onto this, this roof yeah, right here. That. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about that too. Oh, they changed industries too. You'll notice, you'll probably hear right now, the uh, lumber camp is actually chopping the logs in the pond, even though the beams are full. Oh. Yeah, so they changed industries so that if one of the products is full, apparently it doubles up the other product. So right now, instead of doing up. one log to one beam, one lumber, we're getting one log to two lumber because we're only using lumber. Right. So, apparently, that's what happens. I think that's kind of a cool feature. I ruined the 10 second load time by giving that snippet of information, by the way. You really did. Yeah, you now really it's gonna you know, now it's gonna be more like a 30 second load time. Yeah, I, like, I'm so what sorry. What the heck, man? Yeah, I know. Why did you have to go and do that? I know, I screwed up. I made everything longer <laughs> for everybody. Oh, and the cars aren't, like, squishy now. No, they changed the link length, so the links are closer together I on like the cars. That. Yeah, they it feels a lot better. This physics update is really well done. For sure. Yeah, and now you've ruined the 30-second uh, the load time. Now we're up to, like, a 45-second load time. <laughs> this is what happens when there's important information to be talked about. I'm really excited to actually see what happens to the mountain. I'm kind of curious Me now. Too. I'm worried that... We're gonna like snap the link worry, on the mountain. Bro. Don't worry, bro. Just be happy. All right, look at that. Perfect. Only took a minute and a half. Nice. Now I gotta back up. Yeah. Now you gotta back up really slowly through the switch. Real slow. Yeah. Don't don't derail, please. Don't you don't do save. it. You should probably save. Okay, I saved the game. Guys, I think you saved. I saved. I think we're good. I hit the save button. Thank goodness, real life has that too. You know, they just press the save button. <laughs> yeah. And they just they just keep going about their day. Now remember, this train is two hundred ninety-five thousand pounds. That's right. With you the train pull... or just with the cars and the and the load. That's with the train, cars, load, everything. Cool. Two hundred ninety-five thousand pounds. Nice. Actually, that doesn't include the locomotive weight. It's just the wow. The, the you load lied weight. To me. Yeah, the locomotive. Uh, your locomotive is. 130,000 pounds on its own. And mine is 60,000 pounds on its own, give or take. Do you have like a spreadsheet that you look at when you Yeah, play this I game? have a spreadsheet up on my other monitor. I'll send it to you later. <laughs> you can... Amazing. Yeah, the dev sent me a spreadsheet. They have it on their Discord as well. Um, anybody can just go get it. But yeah, it's a spreadsheet that tells you the towing capacity of every train at certain percentage grade. So obviously, cool. the steeper you go, the less it can pull. Right. And it's all about just looking at what's the total towing capacity and then comparing that to what your load weight is. Now, of course, there's some things that factor in. For example, the towing capacity is a theoretical calculation based on straight line track with a perfectly straight hill, right? Yep. yep. As soon as you add turns, unsmooth yep. sections, sections that go up and down at different percentages, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily work out. It's been pretty good so far. 
But honestly, bro, honestly, I'm all about that yo-yo. Yeah, the worst yo -yo. case, we just the have yo to... The yeah. yo YOLO life. Did you say, like, Yopo yo or something? Isn't that like a yogurt brand yeah. or whatever? The Yo Plate life? Yeah, Yo Plate life. There you go. That's the brand, yeah. Got that calcium, about about that calcium, man. Gotta get that yogurt. The math is cool. I think I'll be doing more of that now that it's actually... Yeah, the one thing uh, I like feasible. doing, though, is just pushing the limit of it. So, like, what we're doing with these two engines, theoretically, is right on the limit of what we're towing. We're either going to barely right. make it, or we're not going to make it have to break and ditch a car halfway on the mountain and then hook it up after the fact. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I mean, hopefully you and I don't disconnect, right? That's no, yeah, that's saying. that's my other concern, is if the Eureka decides to pull off, but... Because then that's just that much pulling power gone. Well, then you'll just have to stop and... See, the thing is, once we get to the iron mine, we can unload half the cars, and then, right. you know, you've lost all that weight. Like, the load that's has right. weight, and the car has weight. So that's all factored in, which is cool. All right, we're going to hitch this up again. Nice. Perfect. We're good. All right, let's get going. We do have to go a little bit slow here. Nice. That's so sick. <laughs> So I'm just going to go at 50% reg 48. for a bit. I'll let you know yep, when we have to slow good. down. Um, just because there's one switch we've got to potentially flick to the right. Switch over? Yeah, okay. And then once that's done, we should be good to go. Beautiful. Off we go. Yeah, man, I'm stoked. This is going to be cool. This is, this is going to be sick if it works. What the heck? We disconnected already. Yeah, what's going on with that? I don't know. Why are we not staying connected? I really don't know. That's very odd. Did you connect back up again? No, no, you gotta push forward now? Yeah. I'm catching up. I'm catching you up. You are slow. This is amazing. Did is that not, is that not pin? I can't tell. Honestly, I think we just have to slow down a bit. Here's the switch we gotta flick and it's the wrong way. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just hit the brakes. You hit the brakes too. Yep, I'm on. Uh, I'm on the brakes fully right here. Yeah, I'm gonna brake like crazy here as well. <laughs> oh, I see what you did here. Yeah, I've got a similar thing. Yeah, I go. The right side goes the iron mine. I've got a dev bridge too, which is really cool. Dev One of those bridge. Bridge that looks like the screenshots. All right, let's see if we can hook this up. I don't know what the deal is here. This is that it, it broke twice now. Yeah, that's super odd. And that was like flat ground with no. Like that's that's connected, right? Like if I let me I mean, pull, let me just pull yeah, without you. Get yeah, off your just brake. Try Hold up. So we don't accidentally, you know, do that. I need fuel okay. too. Hold off on. Break. This might this might be a a problem that was unforeseen. Okay. That's a bit of an issue. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I'm pulling. Yeah. I I guess we just we just yolo it and you know. I just don't know, like, what, like what condition causes it to disconnect. I don't either. You know? Is it me? Just like, don't let off your reg, I guess. I wasn't though. That's the thing. Like, is it? Yeah, I, I don't. I honestly reg? don't know why it pulled, but it, it seemed okay, to pull. Okay, I honestly there. think it needs to be like how you, Dapper, and I did it. Have one in the middle. Like Five percent less reg. No, no, no. You just need to have like less reg than I do. Yeah, well, we need to, we need to both that. be at hundred percent reg to actually pull this right <laughs> up this up this hill we can we can kind of coast it a little bit here that might be okay yeah i'm gonna go up to 100 percent reg now i'm at 100 i'm watching it like intently to see when okay, it pulls I'm through at 100 too. yeah honestly at this point we just set it to 100 and go okay let's do it it's just it's a climb like we're gonna flatten Off out here a bit gain a little bit of speed on this bridge but then it's just a hardcore climb i wonder if it pulls off on a corner it's possible. It looks like it's trying to on the corner, but I don't know. It also looks like it's like barely reaching the pin. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what's well, not even reaching the pin, but like it, it might not be close enough. Yeah, like your plow thing? might be too much. But, like I wonder if that's just a visual thing or. A... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're okay so far. Yeah, I mean, just let's just not touch anything. Hundred percent, hundred percent, and let's only apply the brake if we start to slow down. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, this is my dev bridge, by the way. Across the canyon, it's got the, uh, the cool. triple foundation thing going on. Nice. I say dev I bridge. Foundation like that. 
but it's, it's, you just have to layer it. I did a whole video on it, but basically I tried to mimic like the bridges that you see in the, the screenshots on the store page and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The loading menus and things. We're bogging a bit. Do you hear that? Of course, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. This might be too much. Oh, 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 oh. We're technically oh, oh. we're sixty thousand pounds overweight if we're going up four percent, but this is supposed to be like a mostly three percent line. Is yours, uh, is your tender break off? Yeah. Okay. I am checking all of the cars just, just once more. That's probably a good idea. But so far they're all good. We're still connected up here. There is a relatively sharp turn coming up. That's something that I need to come back for? No, I'm just thinking if we're gonna disconnect, that might be the spot. If it's, a, you know, if we're disconnecting because right. of a turn. I don't know, here we go. Okay, no, okay, all the brakes are good. Train's still attached in one piece. Nice. Yeah, it disconnected on the turn, disconnected on the turn. Oh, man. So it's it's when the turns are too sharp, it pulls off. Crazy, okay. Uh-oh. Um, you're not going to make it around this turn, too. Okay, we got to get in front of this next turn, He's and then I got to hook yeah. up. I'm going to stop right here. You have to stop right now. You have to slow down right now and hook yeah. up. I'm I gotta not making it, bro. Oh, you're like pushing me now. Hold on, I gotta get ahead of you. And flick your thing here. Got it up. Okay. Okay. Come on. 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 Yeah, it's the turn, so we gotta have. Okay, it's pinned again. Perfect. Go full speed. I am full speed. Oh, can we make it? I don't know. There's another sharp S bend coming up that's probably gonna do the same pull through. Dang, oh, so you need like, you need like really, really good track if you're gonna do this. There's like gotta be some yeah. other turn near the sawmill that's too sharp. Oof, come on, you can do it, guys. <laughs> We're still moving. You can do oh, it. Oh, <laughs> dude, yeah, I knew that that curve was gonna be the issue too. Yeah, that was a, that was a doozy. That was a doozy, yeah. Was just gonna yeah, like, this one should be, should be fine though. We should stay attached on this. If I like break off now, I'm gonna go shooting off like a rocket. Like it'll. You think so? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I have no weight anymore. Yeah, there we go. See, look. Oh no. Okay, break, break, break. Yeah. Go I don't back. know what the brilliant solution is. I don't know what the solution is. <laughs> We're trapped on the hill. I guess I could try hooking up to you again. You're on a straight section here, like. I was but gonna I don't, say, yeah. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna be able to accelerate. Again. Oh boy, man, that's that. They need to honestly. I think they might need to lengthen the arm on that a little bit. That link, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just give you a little bit more tolerance so that you can, you know, actually do this a lot easier. All right, I'm Are gonna go full, oh, full reverser, full speed. I'm pulling, pulling at full speed right now. One sec. Make sure you put your reg I up am... to a hundred before yep. you let off the brake. I let off the brake. Oh no. Are you at reg a hundred? I'm a reg 100, dude. Okay, you have pressure? I got pressure. Okay. Uh, I feel like we have to drop some cars. You want to try sander a little bit? I'm not even moving, though. Yeah, there's no like, grip. Okay. Like, okay, I'm not we gotta, even spinning. We got to drop some cars. Okay, leave these at there's 100%. Grip, there's no torque. <laughs> you watch the train. Just just yep. stay with the edges. I'm going to drop the bottom... Uh, bottom, like, two, maybe? Bottom two, yeah. I think that'll be good. We'll leave them here, and we'll come get them once these are all empty. Oh, boy. This is turning into a, an adventure and a half. <laughs> Dude, we were doing so... I felt like we were going to make it until those I, links snapped. Oh, no. well, like, that's the thing, right? As soon as you lose your momentum, it's all... It's, it's yeah, game you're done. Over. That's game over. Oh, jeez. All right, it's going. It's going. I disconnected the back, too. It's pulling. Cool. Yeah, we're going now. Yeah. All right, we just need to Run build up back. some speed. There's definitely another S bend coming up, by the way, that is going to snap that link. I can guarantee it. Okay. I'm gonna go check it out. It almost makes me wonder, though, if we had done exactly what you were saying, like engine, car, engine, and then the rest, it probably yep. would have. Yeah, see that S bend right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna do it. This will for sure do it right here. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, if we had done engine, car, engine, I bet you we would have made it no problem. All right, come on, come on, come on, pull. Pull and don't snap, pull and don't snap. Just don't snap, please don't snap. 
It actually it's not snapped. snapping. Wow, it snapped? Yeah. Okay. Every steep turn, man. That sucks. I think you're gonna make it, though. I might. Nice. I gotta just let off the reg down. here. Yep. Brake, Oof. please. Oof, I'm slowing down, though. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, I got cool. you. Full reg again. Come on. We got this. There's only one more S-Pen coming up. <laughs> this is such a struggle. Oh, Come man. Come on. You can do it. Ridiculous. Dude, you know, it, it, I feel like that this might have been possible if we had kept up all our speed. I, I don't know. I think it totally was. You guys let us know what you think in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure if we hadn't... Uh, broken the link we would have kept our momentum and just chugged right through it yeah i think so too i mean i i mean it i gotta fix it all might my have track been slow, but yeah whatever oh it's gonna break right there see like you can see it, like pull apart on the corners and then it gets close yeah. together and if it pulls too far apart it just disappears it yanks it out yeah. yeah it's gonna happen on this next corner too oh yeah oh that's a really tight one yeah I it's got an idea though, okay? Down. What I'm gonna do when we get to the top here is I'm gonna re-rail the Eureka onto a side track that I'll just place down roughly, and then okay. you can drive by with the Cook Bogle, and then I'll put the Eureka at the very back of the train, and we'll just pick up the two cars with the Eureka by itself. Sure, there it is. It broke. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, and we're rolling back. <laughs> No, no, I got pulley power. Let's go. Come on. Perfect. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool how that works. Oh, man. Combined, we could do it. Maybe. Slowly. Climb. Yeah, that bar needs to be like a foot longer. That's it. That That's all it is, you know? That steel link bar. All right, here we go. We're gonna make it. We're getting onto the flat ground. We're gonna like take off like a rocket as soon as we get off the slope stuff, by the way. All right, there we go. You can hear the chugga chuggas picking up. Speeding up, speeding up. Oh, baby. Sick. All right, we made it. Perfect. We just gotta go go and get the two cars that we left behind. <laughs> yeah, so here's, here's what we're going to do. Uh, stop right here for a sec. Yep. I don't know if I'm going to disconnect or not, but just we'll just stop there. Uh, I'm just going to grab some rail, just like this. Uh, you just play... Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, if it'll let me. There we go. Something like that. Perfect. Right? And then I can just grab the Eureka. Which yep. disconnected anyway. Which disconnected itself anyway, which is perfect. <laughs> and then just, you know, we can just rail it here. Good thing re-rails don't cost money. Uh, what? Oh, okay, there it is. Perfect. All right, so we'll leave that there. We can unload this stuff, and then we'll put the Eureka back on the track and pick up the last two beam cars with the Eureka. Let's do it. The Cook Mogul should be able to bring this back on its own. No problem. Oh, so, yeah. you got to pull forward to the lumber... And I'm just going to unload it because you're not working for my company and, you know, employees don't get paid. Right, 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 right. That's standard railway operations. Well, I mean, I'm basically driving this train for free, so... Yeah, you know, but you get paid in, in fun. Right, yes. Yeah, right. you know, I fun is... That part of the it's invaluable, right? <laughs> By the way, they changed the ratios of industries now. You can keep going. Um, so the coal Doesn't mine, for example... It's now two lumber for one beam, and it makes five uh, five iron. Sorry, iron mine. Right. Whereas before it was one to one to one, so it's really a lot better than it used to be. I gotta just do this one. Hold on. There we go. Got that one perfect. All right, keep going. That one should be good. That one should be good. Is there two places to unload now? There. Well, there's one for lumber and one for beams. The lumber one's oh, right. first, the beam one's in behind. Gotcha. So it's just when there's that one little overlap, you gotta, like, jump between the two, but we're good. Perfect. And last one. All right, perfect. You wanna just pull ahead onto that straight section, then hit the brakes? Yep. You know, we'll, uh, 
take a look. I got 135 iron ore now, dude. Nice. It's crazy. Once they change the rates to, like, intervals of five, it's insane. And this amount of stuff is going to generate, like, another, like, 90 or something. That is most excellent. Yeah, it's really good ratios. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're, we're going. Yeah. That's a signal for reverse. Oh, true, true. It's like the the backup lights on the truck. Or whatever. Yo, you gotta put go put the white lights on the back of the train. There's like two spots where you can put lanterns. Oh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> nice. There's two spots. Like, right ah! the, where did you go? Oh, ah! inside the tender. Oh. Ah! Come back. <laughs> yeah, don't fall. But there's two spots on the back of the train you can put lights. I'm having a hard time with this whole uh, don't fall thing you're talking about. There we go. White, there we go. There you go, yeah, get those reverse lights going. And then you gotta do the, the signal. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect, now we're a truck. <laughs> oh, Excellent. Man. Oh, you wanna put a water? hitch on the back there? Because we probably need one of those. Sure. This is not safe train operation. Oh, what? I mean, we're just, we're coasting down the hill in reverse. What could possibly go wrong? That's true, that's true. You got no brake on even. All right. All righty, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, sir. Yeah, I'm just using the brakes only. There we Alrighty, go. All righty, you're good. All right, full speed ahead. Full Easy. speed ahead, sir. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Those brakes both off? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Double check. The Eureka can only pull 62,000 pounds. Oh up, my up 4%. Which That's is kind of what this is. Those two cars combined are like 40,000 pounds. <laughs> so. Wow. <laughs> it's close. I'm but, surprised that that's all it can really pull. Well, it pulls 1.3 million on flat ground. But like, you know, yeah, that's flat you, ground. Like, well, that's what I mean. Like, that doesn't really help anybody when, you know, the world is full of Hills. elevation changes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, like, the Cook Mogul... Uh, you know, all, all the engines really have a huge drop-off as soon as you put them on inclines, except for the gear trains. They actually sort of maintain their their own resolve, you know? Man, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna throw a supercharged V8 into Betsy, and we'll be good to go. I feel like... I don't actually know what the horsepower rating on these engines would be. Yeah, that, I'll, I'll be curious to know. Because, like, they, they only really care about torque and tractive effort, right? Like, That's they right, don't calculate yeah. it in horsepower. God, that no. corner needs to be fixed so bad. That corner is so sketchy, dude. It's like, so what? Brutal. <laughs> but yeah, so, okay, so here's the comparison. The Eureka right now at 4% can pull 62,000 pounds. At a 10% climb, the Climax could still pull 100,000 pounds. Could still pull more than what? the Eureka going up a 10% hill. That's wild. Like, do you imagine the comparison? You see the Eureka struggling on this tiny little incline, <laughs> and the Climax goes up like a 45 degree angle. It's like, no problem, bro. <laughs> Oh god, get that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right, cool. We can stop that. Ah, oh, oh, you just train. jumped off. Sick. No one's driving this train. That's ah, that's, that's great. We're good. We're ah, good. We're good. No. Oh ah, god. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> 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 well, uh, that's that was well, yeah. Well, I guess we got something to fix. But let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, obviously, this experiment didn't work. I feel like we could try this again, but we'll do it yes. with like a car in the middle. Listen, you know, bro, like listen, listen, listen. Just call up your friends. You know, just call up your train friends and be like, bros, bros. You see this linkage right here? One yeah. inch longer. It needs to be. Yeah, it needs to be longer. I One agree. inch longer. I agree. Can you can you hook me up to those cars so I can pull them back? Yes, sir. What am I stuck on? Yourself? I think it's trying to pull this one that's still linked that's not on the track. Oh, possible. I'll, uh, I'll disconnect it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going to fly. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, I better get it before it goes down the hill. Oh, no. Okay, I got it. I got it. We're good. Just watching you run after it is the most <laughs> comical thing. All right, well, we're going to clean this mess up and get everything back to the freight depot. But, uh, oh, yeah, man. let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, make That's sure, of course, right. you check out Cosmo's channel. Link in the description. And uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. How's, how's the re-railing going? Good? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? But, yeah, let us know what you guys think. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.